Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And we are doing our first joint book review. We want to do this uh, a lot more often. As you saw, we did Sadie separately, even though we both read it, and we were like, why aren't we doing this together? Like, that's I mean, silly. We, we both enjoyed the book for very <laughs> similar reasons. So why don't we both talk about it at the same time? Exactly. So this video will be about Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Next month, we actually, I think, are planning on three books that we're going to be reading together. Illuminae, Last Time I Lied, and... Uh, Starless Sea. Starless Sea. Yeah. Those three books we're going to be doing to reviews. But this is, of course, about Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. This came out last year. I was given an, a review copy of this book through NetGalley, so that's how I read mine. You... I got it through Libby. I actually did listen to this book, even though I did have a physical copy, I did listen to it as well. I thought that the story would lend itself more through that, so I got it through my library through Libby after he was done, I think. But after going through it, I'm just going to be honest, You, either way is just yeah. fine. You aren't missing out on anything in, in, in a, if you don't get it by audio. You're really not, you know? Yeah. So the basic premise of Lock Every Door is there is a girl who has basically She's between jobs. Her boyfriend broke up with her. She ooh, ooh, no. Her family gone. Her boyfriend, a jerk, she left him. <laughs> she don't have no place to live no more because she was living with him, but he a douchebag. Can we say that? I'll just bleep it later. Okay. Well, she has no, no real job because she got downsized. So she gets this. I, I don't know if she got it from a diverse, I don't know how she there got it. There was an I can't ad remember. in the newspaper. Thank you. Who remembers the details? I've read, okay. 15 books, 5 books, okay? <laughs> this month. <laughs> I'll, I, I also brain. have a memory for, for plot lines. And details. So, so when she, she gets this newspaper ad that they wanted an apartment sitter. And she's in New York and that's a great job. She doesn't know how much it pays. When she gets there, she finds out that it pays very well. And this is a ritzy apartment in the best neighborhood. And let's also bring up the fact that one of the reasons why she's drawn to this specific building is because she read a book with her sister who uh, about living in this building. This really romantic book and it comes fairy off tale to me like, like um like Anne of Green Gables in New York, New York. In a, yeah, in a high rise, yeah. <laughs> basically. So that's another thing that attracts her to this so much. So she's like she's already to go do it but she's kind of like what kind of job is this that you get to go live for like four thousand dollars a month in a penthouse apartment right the beginning of the book uh, i'll tell you a little bit about the beginning we will not spoil this in any way but the way that this is told is not just from her perspective in the present her living in the building and what happens to her but the beginning of the book starts with her running across the street and being hit by a car and waking up in a hospital does not know what happened they were like you know what you you were running what happened she's like don't make me go back I to the building so you're like something horrible happened here and it does kind of flip flop back and forth between mm -hmm. what her current experience is in the hospital and the events leading up to her getting uh, smacked in the face with a grid mm-hmm but even though you might think, oh, well, you already know how it ends, you know, she's in the hospital, that is not the end. So it continues to actually go forward after that point, so you see what happens to her after she's in the hospital. But the rest is all spoilers, so we cannot tell you. Yeah. And anyway. I really enjoyed how this book went about its mysteries. Mm -hmm. it's, it, there is multiple layers to these mysteries, and... Each character is somehow being affected by the mystery mm -hmm. involved and how they are being affected by it uh, really comes through in how they re re relate with right. other people. I mean, I gotta say there are maybe one or two minor details that I was like, I really wish maybe we had some kind of closure on this, but I don't think it detracted from the story yeah. at all. So that's why I'm okay with it. I gave this book four stars. I thought it was a great ride. Another good one by Riley Sager. So far I've read two of his books now and I'm like, I'm down. That's why we're doing another one next month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would actually personally give it like a five. I didn't really get the same kind of feeling that something was missing. I, mm -hmm. I feel like everything that I needed to have wrapped up was wrapped up for me. I'm not saying that like it needed to be it's just there was just a couple things where i was like hmm, i wonder what happened 
Yeah. In that instance, you know? e e even even if you had some sort of just a blip, a sentence that right. just kind of went, this this closes that. Right. Then again, I'm of the opinion generally that if it's easy to have this kind of closure on something, it may not necessarily be worthwhile. And you know what? This was a really good point that we brought up during Sadie. You know, a lot of people thought that Sadie didn't have the closure that they wanted it to. And I think for us, we both said, well, you know, if you had the closure, it wouldn't be the special book that it that it is, you know, it yeah. wouldn't stay with you and almost haunt you in a way that other books that just tie yeah. the tiny little bow, you know, no. And if you have all of these people in the world that are disappearing and the people that love them don't have the closure, so why should you with a book? Lock every door. I loved it. Four, you know, four to five stars there. You know, yes, I think you guys should definitely read. There is another book coming out by him soonish called Home Before Dark. Uh, I have been trying to get on an arc for that one, but even if I don't, we are going to probably read it when it yeah. comes out as well. But let us know if there are other books you think that we should read together and review. Let us know down below, yes? Mm -hmm. but thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.